tax board, but I'll be using FTBs throughout the presentation instead. Be on the basics. I arranged a virtual meeting via Zoom with the bureau director at FTB Sacramento. His name is Christopher Higgs. Mr. Higgs gave me information that, about FTB not only to help me with my presentation, but to give me priceless information about my adulthood income. My first question to him was, what does FTB do? He responded with a number of things such as collecting taxes, collecting delinquent money, going into people's bank accounts to take up what the person owes, and much more. What you are about to see and hear is a portion of my two-hour meeting between me and Mr. Hicks that I eventually cut down to 40 minutes for the purposes of this presentation. I am grateful, very grateful have, to have him, met with him, and as he provides essential information for my presentation.
your tax return and to issue um, refunds when you've overpaid. Those are the things that we have to do. Collections is not mandatory, but you can understand why if we didn't do it, that people wouldn't pay. One more piece, and this is all to what, what does Franchise Tax Board do? I started off with the name in itself implies that we do something with taxes. We also manage some non-tax programs, and I happen to manage those. We collect on behalf of the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles. So if your mom or dad don't pay their registration, we collect that. We also collect court-ordered debt. Court-ordered debt. Uh, simply said, if you break the law and you get a fee or a fine and you don't pay it, we issue those same notices to your employer or your bank to get the money that's owed. We also redirect and intercept monies owed to people when they owe somebody else. Meaning, if you are getting, here's a good example for you. If you hit the lottery and you owe the state of California, or if you owe uh, 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 one of those uh, court order debts, or you owe a college institution, or you owe a hospital, or you owe a library book fine, or whatever it may be, we take that out of your lottery before you get the money. So those are non-tax debt programs that the Franchise Tax Board administers on behalf of other state departments. That's what we do. Okay, okay. So let's say, so can, if I get paid from my employer and I owe, let's say, like a, like a hospital or something, my next check is when you take it away from me. Uh, uh, couple, couple different thoughts. So you just you just combined tax and non-tax. Okay. So um, we would send an order. It's called a wage garnishment to your employer to tell them either to send us money to pay taxes or to pay to take money out of your check to pay delinquent, um, let me back up. I, I think I said something here that'll help you out. When you're paid, when your check is processed, taxes are already taken out. When I send the wage garnishment, that's because it's delinquent and you haven't paid it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so when I'm talking about collections, that's that order. And now if you owe, um, Say someone else like a court order debt, take it, take it a uh, speeding ticket, and you don't pay it. The county of Sacramento is going to send us the debt, and we can collect it from the employer just like we would collect delinquent tax debt. That is correct. continued to talk. I asked him, is the business closed or are people still going to the building? He responded by saying that he manages 325 people, but only 25 are working at the building. He continued by saying FTV is working to provide technology such as computers, headphones, and internet for FTV employees that are in need of these assets. After my interview with Mr. Higgs, I continued to do research on FTP, and I found out that they are partners with other state agencies. Two examples of, of these are Cover California and the Department of Social Services. FTP is partnered with the California Department of Social Services. In my research, I found that FTV and 
CDSS collaborated and now provide up to six three hundred sixty five dollar PEBT cards for each child for qualifying families during the COVID COVID nineteen pandemic. These cards are strictly meant for the COVID nineteen pandemic for families to buy groceries and food because of school closures. Also on the FCB side, it informs people on December 2nd, 2019, that FCB partnered up with Cover California. The Cover California Executive Director, Peter V. Lee, said, This is the critical message for people because if they want to avoid the penalty when the, they file their taxes in 2021, they have to sign up for health care coverage now during open enrollment. Since the deadline to, to act to file, taxes has been extended to July 15th. Californians have time not only to pay taxes, but to get health care. FCB is advising Californians to get health care, but during the pandemic, some people are losing their jobs. That can lead up to people not being able to afford health insurance. Maybe people had health care because of their job benefits. Maybe their benefits are slowly fading away. between FTB and Cover California, I wanted to know how many Californians had health insurance. I created this pie chart based on my research. According to Blue Shield of California, approximately 2,826,000 state residents don't have adequate health insurance. This data was from the 2018 U.S. Census Bureau. With a state population, approximately 4 million residents, approximately 7 have inadequate or no health insurance. Those 7% of people should probably file before 2021 to avoid a tax penalty. In my research of COVID-19's effects on the Franchise Tax Board, I found answers to my questions, but it also left me with more questions than I started with. With Will the uninsured percentage go down? Will it go up? Will the tax day extension be long enough? Will people lose their job and therefore their benefits? Before I started this project, I knew little about ta the tax system. Now I know more that will help me when I get my first job and have to pay taxes.